Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be explaining how this little farm here works and what progress I've made on it in the past year. Essentially, this is a nether tree farm that uses a heap of different mechanics to farm wood and bone meal at an absorbingly high rate. So, how does it all work? Well, I'll start with just the fundamental concepts at their most basic level and then build up in complexity from there. So this tree farm is not like most others as it uses multiple separate cores to grow saplings as opposed to one central core where the player AFKs. This end core design has a few advantages such as efficiency and speed, but this comes at the cost of needing to make a system to move the player around. Because each core isn't being activated at a high rate, you have enough time to harvest the entire tree, which results in increases in efficiency and speed. But how does a player move between the cores? Well, for this specific farm, I'm using a soul sand water tunnel due to its high speeds and simplicity. To start, you first set your spawn at this bed, then you enter the tube and swim sideways. You can just barely reach the Nylium in survival mode, but it is still possible. A combination of Dolphin's Grace, Soul Speed, and Depth Strider get the player up to the speed required to place 10 fungus every second. Now once you reach the end of the tube, you'll be transported to the end, and a yet to be designed system will transport you to the fountain in the middle and thus the start of the tube where you can begin the cycle again. So what happens to your prized fungus after you plant them at each module? Well, when you first enter the farm, a signal is sent which simultaneously activates each module. Once a module is activated, it will bone meal the fungus until it grows, where then a leaf based detection system will discontinue the bone meal and trigger the piston system. These pistons remove the stems from on top of the Nylium, while also ensuring that the Nylium is replenished and hasn't been converted to netherrack. The leaf detection also sends a signal to the TNT array, which is responsible for respectively renovating the huge fungus. This system is currently under heavy research and development, with lots more work to be done, but it works by trapping TNT inside of cobblestone so that when the TNT explodes, it destroys blocks around them, but not the items. As you can see, these TNT arrays have taken on a lot of shapes over the past year, and I'm happy to say that the current one is the most optimal in almost every way, and can harvest a tree 10 times faster than even the best of its counterparts. Now this is as far as I've gotten in this project. I have a solid idea of what I want to do next, and a general idea of what comes after, but there's still undoubtedly a huge number of problems left to deal with that I'll probably be fixing while live, so that'll be fun. If I want to place 20 fungus a second, and each module takes 9 seconds to clear a tree, I'll need to build 180 modules, which with all these pistons would cause quite a lot of lag. To address this, I'll be optimizing the timings of the modules to make them as fast as possible and therefore reduce the number of total modules. You've seen the thumbnail, 5 million an hour. It's a huge claim, I know, so how did I come up with this figure? Well, first of all, the figure is actually around 5,317,488 items an hour. But, if you really want to know, you take the average amount of blocks that generate in a huge fungus, 74.6, then you multiply the average by the efficiency of each module, which is currently 99.1%, and finally multiply by the amount of huge fungus you are aiming to harvest in an hour. So that'll be 20 times 3,600. This is the raw amount. Some, if not all of the warp blocks will be converted into bone meal, to not just fuel the farm, but to also make a huge surplus. Okay, okay, that's probably enough maths for one video. To summarize, this is a farm that transports the player at rapid speeds, all other players continually planting fungus, which are all harvested at near max efficiency to achieve rates in the multi-millions of items per hour. If you want to see my work on this, you can check out the players in the description below, where there's 70 plus hours of me working on it on stream, and of course you can catch me working on it live when I randomly stream. As always, I'll be happy to answer any questions you have in the comment section below, and if you just can't get enough of Huge Fungus, I suggest joining the Huge Fungus Discord, which is also linked below. Anyways, thanks a heap for watching to the end of the video, and have an awesome day.